Hello guys, welcome back to RxTX Pathology channel once again. I am Dr. Ranjit and I am going to run through the entire application, how to use the application, every single pointer so that you can ace your pathology boards or your exams or even the life of a pathologist, right? This is a one-stop solution for every pathology needs. You can look at the slides anytime you want. You can search whatever topic you want to read and we quit thing with all the updated facts. If you're here first time, click on the subscribe button and let's learn more about pathology and medicine, right? So let's go through the app. You can first sign in the app if you're first time user sign up using either your mobile number or your email email especially for a student who is in abroad not from india right and you can use that for frequent logins be it the mobile phone otp or an email otp you can enter the app so once you enter the app this is the home page so what are the points in the home page the first thing on the top you have something called track your qban this is primarily for someone who's preparing for a neat SS or an FRC path exam, where it will tell you exactly how many modules you have completed every day, October, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 1 to 30, right? Just to track your uh, comparison, how well you're doing, how well you're revising, right? It also gives you a rough estimate of how many percent of the modules you've completed. There is 4% of the 82 modules. This account is completed, that's all, right? So then I have two entry points. One is called as a digital slides, other is called as a salt Q&A. Once you click the digital slides, here you'll have everything required to learn. It's a self-learning tool, categorized system-wise, cytology, soft tissue, head and neck, on all those things, right? Let's go, you can load more. Actually, there are more of them. I don't just leave that to stop with male genital We have lower GIT and RBC disorders also, right? Now let's go and click a random thing, FGT. Once you click the FGT, under FGT, I have endometrium. We have close to 40 cases in endometrium, then start cervix, right? So you might think that, okay, should I keep on scrolling this to look entire thing? No, you can see in this top corner, in the right hand corner called as index. You click on the index, it can jump. If you want to go to ovary module directly, I can jump to ovary. Want to go to tubes directly, I can jump to tubes. Like this, every system is categorized and subcategorized for your needs, right? Let's say I want to look at an uh, tubal pathology. I'm a first year student. I want to know what is Walthard cell rest. I click on Walthard cell rest. You will have what does it mean? The definition, the microscopic gross IHC is required, and then a slide. You click on the slide there, it opens here. The beauty of this is, like I said, it's a self learning tool. If you're in the middle of the night, no one to guide you, where have to go? Go for RxDx pathology. You can zoom in here. So this is the exact Walthard cell rest, right? You can go with any topic you want. Okay, let's say Walthard is a very simple thing. Let me go to a Krukenberg's tumor. You'll exactly see what is Krukenberg's tumor, definition, microscopy, IHC, and there are multiple things. It's not that the ovarian carcinomas, metastatic carcinomas, histology, right? I am suspecting a Krukenberg here. Now, let's go and have a look at the CK7. That is also positive here, right? So it's not just the cases. You have We have a completely worked up thing where you have the case history diagnosis, everything required for you, right? So we have multiple slides. There are close to 4,000 slides available. That is more than enough for any pathologist to ace the exam. And we intend to increase this and we intend to put them inside the same... Uh, uh, interface within a few couple of months now and we are intending to increase it to close to 10,000 cases. Imagine you'll have 10,000 diagnoses at your fingertips, right? That's not something which is less and it's properly categorized for your needs whenever you want to learn, right? That's what digital size is about. Solve question and answer. It's an evolving product. This is primarily for the MD final year exams who are going to give their theory exams, right? Let's say there's a recent advances. Uh, currently two topics here, blood substitutes. It's there. Just if you want to read, right, just read there, take notes and maybe sit in the exam hall to uh, write. This will be intending to complete in the next couple of months, like I said before. And the solve question and bank, it might not be helpful for a person who has completed the exam, might be definitely helpful for a person who is sitting for their MD, DNB theory exam, right? And then you have an MCQ of the day. You can click anything in the MCQ of the day. We had few glitches and we have definitely taken care of that. Go first, click on the solution. If you can see the explanation, you have a tiny explanation there for you, right? And that's about the home page. I have a digital slide, you have a question and answer, and you have the question man tracker and an MCQ of the day, which keeps on changing every now and then. Then you go to the second one called as QBank. The second module as QBank categorizes as general path, skin, bone, soft tissue, breast, WBC disorders, everything. Again, this primarily for a student writing an FRC path or a neat exam, right? Let's go and click on. I'll uh, do two things. One, I'll show you how a new module will look like. Prostate seminal vesicle, you have the question, you answer, right or wrong, the explanation comes here beautifully. There's a next button here, we are not able to see that. Click on the next button, it goes next, right? That's what happens for the new question bank. You go there, you look at the image and you can go for it, right? Let me go back. Let's see, if you have solved a question bank already, it will change the color and say that it's been completed, right? 
once you click on the completed cube and you can easily review at every point of time let's say i'm going to click this i know that this is the question bank now i want to know what mistake i made there's a toggle button if you look at that toggle button okay i marked option a but the right answer is option b so it can use to evaluate or if you want to do it new again this will be there just a toggle button a toggle button a toggle button right so it exactly tells you what it is and you have an amazing explanation here what is the right answer few points regarding that and few points for not the right answer as well right and here you can see a tiny one if you see that okay this is something which i want to bookmark i click on the bookmark right you can bookmark it you can put as a query there you can put as a very important one. there are three types of categories of bookmark just a normal bookmark or if you want to put as a question you, it becomes a query for me it put as a star it becomes an important book for, for me right okay let's look at the look at the bookmark very very soon right so this is what the question bank entails you have both the newly one and the older one right now we did bookmark something right let's go to the bookmark module let's see yes exactly in the kidney and urinary tract i did bookmark something i put one as query and one as star so both of them is categorically bookmarked and here also same thing i know the right answer i ignore the right answer right so again it helps you to revise the high yielding points what you think is right and something which you are not able to read now maybe you'll say that i'll read it tomorrow put a question mark and come back to the bookmark session right now the beauty of this is custom module so custom module is something where you've done the entire cubang but you want to practice again right so you can say all the cubangs or the bookmark ones alone or the incorrect ones alone right all the cubang go to the next one choose whatever you want go to the next one and create you can again a regular mode or an exam mode regular mode is like a cuban an exam mode is like a normal exam right and generate something and it's clear this thing you can share it with your friend and he or she can also write and let's compare that how you well are faring because you need someone to help you during the course of your journey of examination and rsjs will connect wherever you are remotely send this code they also can easily uh, write the exam and for you if you click on the solve now button there automatically the generated custom module comes into the play right that's about the custom module let's go back once again i am not doing that just for since i am just explaining that right then we have test series so if completed test series which will change color if it's not completed it will be like this right let's go to the completed test series if you just open that it'll show all the things now you can review the answer the same model again the toggle button will help you to say right or wrong and go back the beauty of this is you have a rank so it'll exactly tell you how well you are doing amongst your peers right so neat ss of pathology is a very close segment like close to 400 people right in a year and frc path again is not the competitive exam but they're also a very close segment so this application is close to 50% of all the NEET SS, more than 50% of all the NEET SS participants are enrolling to this and they are solving it. So you can know a real time status on what your rank is and it definitely help you to improve further. Fine. Now let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to the video section. So the beauty of videos is again, it's categorized uh, subject wise and I have an exam case model of 85 cases. I'll definitely add more and more things for you guys, right? So let's say I click on Harry's leukemia. You have the video they're playing. I'm not going to play the video here. And the notes of that is nearby, right? Let's say I want to watch general pathology. I go back again. Uh, sorry, no crossing. Let's go to general pathology. I want to talk something about hyperplasia hypertrophy. I'm learning that hyperplasia hypertrophy. I know the entire notes here available. And I go to the related modules. That's something which is available already there, right? So it gives us an easy access of, I will read a topic and I'll have related modules. We have not linked everything, but we'll definitely do it in due course. So you can easily understand and revise your concepts and make sure you're confident for the exams, right? Now, if you say that uh, I'm working in a place in my duty time, I don't have an internet, what do I do? I cannot watch this because in a mobile application, which needs internet, right? So there's a beautiful thing for that, which is download option, right? So once you click on the download, you have a button here, you can click on this download. Let's try if it works, fine. You just click on the download. So it'll slowly completely download, right? So you can download close to 15 videos and keep it in your repository. Whenever you have a place where there's no internet, this will definitely come handy, right? But please, most important thing, update the app. There were few glitches in the download and we have sorted it and it's working beautifully, right? You can download anything. Once the download completed, the entire icon changes to already available one, right? Let's wait for a second. It's completing the download. Okay. So once the download is completed, let's just quickly check whether the saved videos is working or not, right? So once the download is completed, ta-da, done. So once the change of icon becomes stick, the download is completed, then you go back. Once you go back to the main screen, there's something called save videos on top. You can go to save videos, see, 
we just now downloaded Hairy Cell Leukemia. It's available. You can go up to 15 videos, download whatever video you want, go to the uh, duty time, watch seamlessly. Learn the best way possible wherever you can, right? Not just that. Here also you can bookmark a video. You have few free sample videos as well available. If you are not a subscriber, want to see what the app is all about, you can go ahead. There are close to 25, even more, right? close to 40 videos which are freely available. Just feel free to look at the video and definitely I hope that this will help you in the journey, right? So that's about videos. We have huge list of videos. There are few chapters which are just on the verge of completion. There are close to 430 mind blogging videos available in the app, right? So please make the best use of it. Be the videos, be the test series, be the QBank or be the digital slides which is there in the home page, right? I hope this must have sorted most of your queries. If you are not a subscriber yet, I would say please be a part of the Pathocups community or the RSDs community. We are going to make your pathology education 100% to the next level. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.